This guy is unfucking believable. Who goes there? Murderer? Murderer? Of the English language, maybe. I'm just a journalist. Beware you. I've got weapons here that can render you helpless. Relax, old timer. I'm not here to hurt anybody. I'm just after some information. You, sir, stand in my domain. And the question is, who are you? Speak quickly. Jake Quinlan from the Virtual Herald. Quinlan. Quinlan, I, I know that name. You're the one who, who speaks for the Ripper. No, I don't speak for him. He just writes me letters and we print them. They're news. But who are you? I thought the owner of this house was dead. <laughs> one of them is my twin brother, Hamilton. And he finished what he called the most fascinating project of his life. And then I, I found him shot dead right here in this room. And I thought he'd just fallen asleep. What did the police tell you? Uh, the police, ah, I'm sure they're in on it. Do you think the police are in on your brother's murder? It's obvious the way they were rooting around in Hamilton's world. Kept asking him for his well address and threatened to lock me up if I didn't tell him. But they got nothing out of me. They took away cartons of his discs. But they won't find anything there. Hamilton was too smart for them to. Was the cop a guy named Magnata? Yeah. <laughs> I should have vaporized him. You'll get nothing out of me. I'm sure. And he was a genius. Like Leonardo. <laughs> you know about the hiding places, huh? huh? Well then, you know more than I do. Hamilton was like Leonardo. <laughs> well, well, yeah. That's the idea. Doubt you're clever enough to do it, though. Doubt you can do it. <laughs> you snoop around too much for your own good. I'm more dangerous than I look. I warn you. I've been grepping for one of these for months. We had to sell out to some Palestinians in New Dallas. Kind of slow in here. Yeah, the Rippers really put a damper on anonymous sex these days. How about a beer? Yeah, sure thing. Why don't you try this one? It's called Viper Pills. Goes down real smooth. It's got some bite. On the house. Just nail the Ripper so that my customers can get drunk in public again, huh? Okay. Cheers. It's weird, huh? You know, a good guy wins for once in a blue fucking moon. <laughs> Looking for Falcon Eddie? Well, I think you got him. What the fuck is going on here? It's a 40 gigabyte virtual environment. <laughs> Made it myself. Pretty impressive, huh? Think of it like a game room. And you're my favorite toy. <laughs> you're called the Answer Doll. And the idea is, I throw a knife and you answer a question. Who the fuck sent you? Kiss my ass. You want to talk to me, you get me down from here. An ass kissing? That's a pretty high order. <laughs> Not a smart move for somebody in your position. You got your bald, buddy. Ah! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> in case you forgot, my score was higher. Boy, reckon you can fly with the Falcon after all. Christ, 
feel like a fucking corpse. Lucky for you, I had to come up for air. Hey, Twig, you lazy piece of shit! What kind of cheap ass nootropics you feed me? I can barely keep up with the data transfer in there. No wonder I lost that fucking contest. All right, hot shot. What do you want? What's your take on the Ripper, ready? Holy shit, I just realized you're the one he writes to. He's the only reason to read the rags. Fucking guy's incredible. He gets in there, paints the room in blood like Jackson Pollock on crack, and gets out without a trace. What's with all these knives? Well, for one, I'd say they're sharp. I didn't mean that. Oh, I see. I collect knives. And there's a serial killer loose. Knives equal killer, right? Gee, I heard you reporter types were smart, but heck, you're way over my head here. Okay. How did an outlaw like you hook up with a respected doctor like Burton? You mean she didn't tell you? Baby has the hats for me. Has for years. <laughs> Does she? What do you want with publicity? I'm a fucking outlaw. <laughs>